SMTP authentication uh, using Postman. So we're going to follow the new protocol, which is OAuth 2.0, as Microsoft has deprecated the older version uh, of authentication. Uh, that is the basic authentication. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll start from the app registration. So here I am on portal.azure.com and um, I'm inside the Azure Active Directory. I'll be going ahead and creating a new app registration. Here I'll be naming my application SMTP sample, so you can give any user friendly name. Uh, once I have my name over here, I'll be clicking on register. All right, so our application has now has been registered on Azure AD. Uh, what I have to do is I'll have to go to the API permission section. I click on add. Select Microsoft Graph delegated permission and here you need to type in S. MTP. Yeah, so here you go. I've added the permission. OK, so SMTP dot send. All right, so let's move back to Postman. So here I have a fresh new. Um, request OK, so just click on new get request. OK, so I'll be getting an SMTP token using Postman. So you might be wondering why I am using Postman uh, to authenticate SMTP and to get the access token using OAuth. So using PowerShell is usually tiring to get this command sorted in the first step itself. Uh, this is just to you can use Postman, you know, just to test whether the uh, whether the token you are issuing is correct or your setup is correct or not. So you can quickly test that using Postman and then you can have the token handy on on your site. So uh, all you need to do is uh, create a new request in Postman. Uh, go to the authorization tab uh, from the drop down here. Select or 2.0. OK, once you have that selected. Um, you have the access token, a select authorization code because a client credential flow doesn't work for SMTP. Remember, uh, remember that. OK, so here you will need a postman callback URL, so I'll have to Google it. Uh, let me postman callback URL. Let me Google that real quick. Um, so the postman callback URL is what I need to find. OK, I have it uh, written uh, handwritten, so I'll. I'll replace it here. HTTP. S. Uh, double forward slash www dot postman.com slash o auth to slash callback so it is postman so yeah so it is https www.postman.com or two and slash callback. So I need to copy this uh, URL here and the Azure as well. You need to go to the authentication section and um, add the platform. You need to select web and uh, paste in the redirect URL over here and uh, just check these two items here. Click on configure. Once you have that, you need to click on save. Uh, OK, so I guess uh, this is enabled. Now uh, we need few other details. Uh, this is over 2.0. Uh, I need uh, the tenant ID authorization endpoint. Uh, so I'll click on copy to the clipboard. Uh, then I'll need the access token endpoint. Paste it over here. Uh, then I'll need a client ID. 
uh, you can get the client ID over here. Uh, client ID and then I'll need a client secret. So for secrets, uh, I'll have to create a new certificate client secret over here. So I'll click this sample. Click on add. Uh, you need to copy the value part and not the ID part. OK, uh, you need to copy the value part. I'll be replacing the value part over here. And now we are getting ready to uh, go before that. Uh, I need to change the scope. OK, since we are. Accessing. SMTP, we will need. Outlook. Dot. Um, we need Outlook dot office dot com slash um, smtp dot send smtp dot send okay uh, so the dot part okay smtp dot send and now we are ready to you know call the or 2.0 endpoint to get the access token for smtp uh, click on get access token uh, i'll need to sign in so I'll put in my sandbox account. I'll put in my password. And yeah, so permission requested is from the SMTP sample app, which we just created. This app would like to access uh, sending email from our mailbox uh, using that particular permission that we just granted. Uh, I'll click on accept. And here we go. We got the access token. I can click on use the token. OK, I'll copy this and now you can use this token to. You know. Um, do the SMTP functions that you intended to do, so I'll just decode the token and show you the claims. So. Here's the name of the app that has been displayed and apart from that. Uh, here are the scope SMTP dot send. Uh, which we just granted in our app. Um, so if I go to the API section, you can find that. All right, so this was the quick tutorial on how to authenticate SMTP using Postman and using the credential from Azure AD. So if you have any other questions or you need help uh, with regards to this, uh, please feel free to drop the comments in the chat and uh, I'll be happy to help. Thank you guys.